and welcome to the Rollers and the Rockers podcast brought to you by Bank West. My name is Hayley Miller and I'm joined by my beautiful co-host, Emma O'Driscoll. Now, we have had to say you're beautiful because you've been copping a little bit for your poor nose yeah. at the moment. Um, got, a, got a knock on the weekend. It's oh, looking gosh. a little bit black. It's a little bit swollen. <laughs> Thank you for You're trying to remember what you said before, isn't I, it? Well, I I'm going to roast Brett, yes. uh, the media Thanks. guy, now because he just stuffed up the audio. We did three minutes of... Absolute quality. It was Absolutely. perfect. And now I've got the giggles and, and can't speak. And, and you're trying to remember exactly what you said before. So anyway, anyway, just let it go. Anyway, just thank you for again. calling me beautiful, Miller, because I have been um, down in the dumps the last few days since I hit my nose. But then I remembered that back in 2012, I used to wear eyeshadow that was this colour. So I um, think it suits me. Um, but anyways, moving on. It's not stopping me from being here today. No, we're here. Thankfully. And it's, well, for another person who has, has yes. taken the opportunity to... to Join the podcast, I suppose. Again, I'm back. She's back, ladies and gentlemen. Mim yeah, is back. That's round, a round of applause. applause. Can I get a beautiful too, Hayley? Oh, you oh, are beautiful. You're thank beautiful. You, you don't actually, get a compliment until you come three times in a row. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually glad there's no camera on me because I I'm half in uni outfit. Oh, you did get roasted on my way in for the socks and slides, but. The That's degree right. that you quit because of us, <laughs> you quit your media degree because we stuffed it for you, and now she's doing teaching, but. Good on you. Yeah, Mim. we're going to say so. Mim, Mim originally was doing the podcast purely because she was, you know, studying media just to see what what it was about, and she's not even uh, studying that anymore. But <laughs> she, she still us. has to continue here. But I think you're literally everyone's <laughs> favourite, so that's yeah. why I'm always like, I hope she's here. Yeah, but shout out to the mums from um, Footprints wanted me back, so I'm back. Oh, oh. <laughs> everyone wants her back. All right, and she's here. Before we uh, intro our guest, Drisco, do you have a rating for Webby um, last week? Yes, well, I did cross my legs last week and say it was boring, but, and Mill and I did agree it. that we um, didn't really like it after we finished until we listened to it back. Amazing editing from Luke yeah. and Brett because it sounded great. I'm giving it a 6.5 because there's still room for improvement. There's always room for improvement. Love that. Um, all right, let's 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 intro our guest. Oh, I'm I've super. got to put a screen up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm super excited about this because it's been three and a half years Season one, episode two. Oh my god! Since the first time she was on the podcast, still probably one of my favourites. That yep. that podcast, absolute star on Sunday as well. So we thought we'd invite her back. <laughs> Welcome, Laura. Pew pew. Pew pew. 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 She's got the callback. She's got the callback. For the message for yeah, the three and a half years. But yeah, it's been a while. Um, yeah, you're happy to get the call up again. Come yeah, close definitely. to the microphone. Oh, yeah. hello, yeah, microphone. Sorry. I, um, again, just haven't back. done this in a while. You look quite uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, my back's a bit sore. <laughs> well, you um, did get um, no, excited, got taken out. No, don't touch it. Oh, my God. So, Drisco just tried to... We are all set up, ready to go. Um, and now it's off to the side. <laughs> sorry, you can move it. Um, I just pulled the whole thing out of the... <laughs> the plug out of the hole. <laughs> the new desk. <laughs> Sorry. What a shame. <laughs> okay, I don't know how to explain pulling that out. What would you call that? The pole? The stick? <laughs> Pull the stick and the pole. At least they can. They, you have good editors, don't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah this is all. just can't go in. I feel it. terrible. Anyway, it's funny though. Record, we'll it's, see. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> anyway, I'm it still mad that yet. we missed. Like, that second time round was nowhere near as good, wasn't no. it? It was. I've just been waiting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, you're on. <laughs> Welcome. Waiting for two minutes. We waited for 15 because you were stuck oh, yeah, on the sorry, freeway. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Anyways, it's fine. Anyway, um, we did have RSA Derby win yes. a um, couple of days ago. Anya, goal of the year nomination. Oh, goat. From the boundary. I think she was like, you know, a couple of seasons ago, Ebony Antonio <laughs> kicked one from the same pocket. And she was like, I can do that too. Yeah. It was and actually unreal. Bang. It was really good. Incredible. So if we have another goal of the year from round one, versing the Eagles from the same pocket. Fantastic. Imagine yeah. that. We just line up each year. Someone else can do it. Just go next. From the pocket, not sure. I'll be, I'll be Mick Weston on the goal line, bouncing off my knees. Did anyone <laughs> zoom in on that? Sorry, Mick. I'm friends with her, so it's fine. I'm going to roast her here, hopefully, but far out. She's been doing too much like horse practice at, tra at training since coming back from her humeral <laughs> fracture. Hey, there was a bit happening in that goal square. Yeah. There, was a bit was of, a <laughs> there was a bit of like poor Tux was running into the goal. And then yeah. I'd, you, I, you couldn't try. But you also, couldn't do that if you How tried. would you, like, you would, that, that was a bouncer. That was a proper bouncer. <laughs> <laughs> You're not reading that. So there was there was a screen. That I think the um, commentators are saying there was a screen up either end before the goals because no one yeah. could quite get a yeah. little toe on it. But yeah. anyway, 
Um, we got the win and Pewie, Team of the Week. Oh, uh, she's unreal. Nomination, nomination, Team of the Week. I don't know. You just made it. Yeah. You made <laughs> it in. Know. You made it in, um, which is fantastic. Oh, thanks. Are you going to say anything this whole oh, time? How do you, how do you feel, <laughs> about, how do you feel <laughs> about the game? What was your take on the game? Oh, the game? Oh, I had an absolute ball. It was so much fun. Yeah. Um, I think I was just laughing throughout the whole time because <laughs> I think, yeah, it was just good. Um, probably because I hadn't played or like not yeah. been training much pre-season. Um, so yeah, just went out there and had some fun. It was, yeah, of course, pretty stressful. Um, they did bring it to us, but yeah, had a good time with the girls. Yeah, you did. So you came off a broken wrist in the mm-hmm. um, pre-season, mm-hmm. which wasn't was an ideal preparation, but it didn't look like you missed a beat, to be no. honest. She's unreal. The I knew it was happening. I was knew that was going to happen <laughs> with <laughs> Thursday's training. I tell you what, no one, like no one could catch you. You were doing the exact same oh, thing on yeah. Thursday at training. Unreal. It was like spoil, run, get your yep. own ball, off you go. It's um, the golden fist the and the golden goose because she's out on the ball at the end of the, <laughs> the game. <golden> <laughs> Yeah, if you get zoom in, up. few more, <laughs> few more, se- a few seconds to go yeah. in the game, and you and Mickey Hyde are having a good old having laugh. A good yeah. laugh it was a set play. We just need another stoppage, so okay. I was like, I may as well sit on it. Yep, great. Um, <laughs> and then I looked at Mickey in the eyes, and I was just like, Yeah, I've laid an egg. <laughs> <laughs> when you can't spoil, sit on the ball, yeah. everyone. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, what do you call golden goose? Golden goose yeah, and golden fist. Bad, yeah. yeah. <laughs> golden girl. Okay, um, but okay. anyways, I thought you had a. I loved having you back out there, um, LP. I thought three vote. You had my three votes um, for MVP. Um, having her there, we call her the general in the back line, and it's for a reason. She doesn't stop flapping her gums or having a giggle, <laughs> um, which is great. Um, and when we need her to sit on the ball, she's she's our girl. Um, and I think my favourite part was actually she talked about her sore neck before with the microphone. Was when Ella Roberts did hit her quite hard in the back, and um, she has yelled out, "Oi!" <laughs> I was like, that's great. Well, normally, <laughs> yeah. and I think even the commentator said, normally uh, Pewie's quite reserved, yeah. doesn't say too much, but you weren't happy about that one. Yeah, no, I think I, I did message her and say, <laughs> sorry, I thought I broke my back. But um, <laughs> I, yeah, was able to get up and keep playing, which was, yeah, very good. Yeah, you were just <laughs> up and... <laughs> Yeah, up and going. Oh, Amazing. God. Do it for the girls. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> Lots of moments. And it was obviously, Lots. yeah, Lisa's first win um, as coach, couple of, couple of Debbie, so it was... Oh, yeah. um, Fantastic. And my favourite thing is just Leo and Ollie after the game. They just think it like I'm always looking for someone to give the trophy. No one wants the trophy after the the, um, game. And I was like, man, I'm always like stuck with it and I have to carry it around. But um, Ollie was more than happy to take it. And I've been sent photos from Lisa. There's a photo of him laying in bed with it. (laughs) There's a photo of him the next day going to school with it, in the car with it. I don't think he's let it go. So um, it was a good choice to give it to him because he was loving it. I think even at the end of the game, we we circled up. I was next to you, Hayley. And Ollie, you've tried to instruct Ollie to get into the middle of the circle and put the cup down, like when we're all sitting around it. He didn't want to. He was not (laughs) parting with his... Hayley's like... Down, just, just on the ground, and, and then you can, you have can it go in the circle. Like, <laughs> you can have it back after. It was like, we just put it in the middle, and we all sing while it's in the middle, and then you can have it back. And he was just like, I don't really want to give it. But anyway, he did That's it. so good. And then I was like, okay, now, immediately after, you can have it back. And off he went. And I guess and so good it. that we got to get that team photo at the end with all of our non-playing players as well. Um, didn't see it in the West, so not happy about that. Um, but that's okay. Surely it'll be in there next <laughs> in the next three next years. Three um, but I guess speaking on our debbies, we did have Ari and Joe debut on the weekend. Um, thoughts on their games? Thoughts on how you, we think they went? But also, mm. reckon they slotted in nicely. Oh, since they started, I mean, Ari what started two weeks ago? Yeah, um, she unreal. slotted in even when she was yeah training as a future. I think I played on her when I, my wrist was broken and we we're having a good laugh. But yeah, um, yeah the absolute competitive beast, both of them. Yep. Like, yeah. They're amazing. They did well. Min mentioned before that she's been um, helping Ari out. I'll, I'll bring the peanut gallery in. Um, <laughs> yeah, I've been lucky enough to work with Ari. She's um, got a great personality and such a like thirst to learn, which is amazing. Yeah. Um, so I'm really lucky to be working with her. And she, um, she's she got that strong body to help me out in the ruck. So that's really good. Amazing. Absolutely. And the, the fans, the crowd, I felt oh. like we were discussing before that <clears throat> felt like there was a lot more than the, what the number that they... Um, said was there but apparently because it was so hard to get in they just opened them yeah. up at one point off you go heaven open go. the floodgates yeah. come open, on open them let them in it's so, half time anyway <laughs> we missed a few thousand um on the count back but uh yeah. a few thousand <laughs> should have got the clicker out and done the line yeah <clears throat> how, how good. many people are there are we at benny's or are we at free <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, too good. Shout out to uh, little girl CJ who had a custom made T-shirt that oh. said Haley is my hero oh, on it. Oh, yeah. um, I was no, like, couldn't believe that's it. That's the best thing ever. Signed it for it. Um, amazing. So our fans are some of the best, I think. Oh, and sh- shout out to Hannah, who was part of our academy here, the 16s Academy. Um, Mim and I did some coaching of, and Anya with them. She held a sign up saying, Audrey School, can I have your football boots? It was the cutest thing ever. And she's actually Matilda Sargent's student at school. So um, apparently the girls have not stopped talking talking about how amazing we are they oh, love so the good. team um and they're going to come down to every single home game so how funny incredible. is it though that when they put can i have your boots and it's like oh we don't get enough yes yeah, so <laughs> so, i'm sorry i don't we don't get as many as the boys we i can't afford to give you my boots um because i only have a few pairs for the season sorry um ask for something else i don't know can i have Chris your pie five Mm, yeah, hair can I have a high five, a hair lucky. Yeah. Um, because I can't have my empty things. Gatorade bottle. Yeah. I don't know. I would have nothing else to give you. Um, now I, we did talk about oh. off air um, that I was going to bring this up, Drisco, because my dad, my dad's not happy with you. So Drisco last oh week God. called my dad out on TV um, and said <laughs> that he was still an Eagles member, and. It's just straight up lies. And you've said it on TV. Okay, well, okay, here, I'll explain myself. Also, I might just say I've tried to make an effort to know most of the people's um, parents' names and siblings' names. So um, I am sorry, Nick. Um, (laughs) Nick, I'm very sorry for saying you're still a West Coast member. I should have reworded it to say previously you're a West Coast Eagles member, as were my family. So same, same. Um... But it was bloody funny, nonetheless, <laughs> that our captain had a dad who wore a West Coast Eagles hat with her badge on it. That's yeah. classic. He did. Um, and Son spoke to me after the game. Good old Sonia. Um, <laughs> copped a spray from her post game that I had bagged Nick out. So it was great that she's sticking up for her husband. And then I think Miller also sprayed me yesterday hey, yeah. as well. So and um, I, um, touchy subject. I said it on Twitter too. Um, so so it was supporting Nick all round. Um, Nick for bloke. Nick. He can't support himself. So we've <laughs> yeah. got to gotta get around him. Not much social media um, for, <laughs> for Nick. <laughs> Well, great, he wouldn't have even seen it then. <laughs> oh, actually, no, but he must have seen it because he said he to me, sad. he said, thank you for um, sticking oh. up for me on Twitter. So anyway, he must probably does see everything Nick, on Twitter. I'm so sorry. I'll, I'll write you a letter. Um, <laughs> a formal apology. <laughs> quick quick one word on the street. Um, back to, because we always have to um, mention yeah, Yarrawonga in this podcast. I don't know why. It's always bring, the pigeons. The pigeons Ooh. are back. Um, apparently, word on the street <laughs> is they were once going to change their name to the cats. Because they were co- copping so much for being the pigeons. But then I think there was a big oh, thing. I thought you said copying. I was like, co- copying who? What other team in the oh, cops copying? <laughs> no, they were copping too much like yeah, flack, flack for it. Yeah, yeah. Um, but anyway, it didn't go through. So there's still the pigeons and um, we continue to give them flack for it. Is that still the worst football name in history you've heard? Oh, pigeons are all right. Well, what's your worst Not really that then? fierce. Pigeons, yeah, they're pretty fierce. Yeah, Have you any down. nesting in your garden? Hi, <laughs> <Okay. laughs> oil in my hair. All right, <laughs> yeah, probably today, right now. Um, the worst? Oh, I don't know. Nah, it is pretty bad. Probably yeah. just because Ellie's from there. Yeah, that's, that's probably why. Yeah, one hundred percent. It's not really that's that bad. That's actually no. the only the only reason. Um, and big stitch up last week by you um, for the <laughs> Peter Piper. Hey, not a stitch up from me. Um, old mate. Yeah, it here. is a stitch up from Brett. Media Brett. Oh, um, Media Brett. Another stitch up in the week. We talked about me nose before. Brett's gone and posted three pictures and an icing video at the end, the dog. Like, I don't care what anyone says, but that's worse than Peter Piper. Yeah, it is. But the fact that we did that afterwards just as a fun yeah, thing and then he brought it into the podcast wasn't even part of the thing. Anyway, we're going to ask you some questions now, Pew, because you've just been sitting there. You haven't even no, I, I, I like hanging much. out with, like, what do I say, with three people, then I don't have to speak. Yeah, you haven't <laughs> been adding too much here. So now we you're going to have to quiet. You're in the hot talk. seat. <laughs> Um, all right, we'll just go tell us about your footy journey. Obviously, played for <laughs> what? Can you just get the recording from last time? No, can you? No, can you? Well, no, no. Can, new listeners are going to hear it, yeah, yeah, want to okay. hear it again. Well, yeah. maybe it's different the second time around. Oh, yeah, I'll I don't put know. a bit of dramatic effect on it. Yeah, you keep playing so in that waffle game for, <laughs> for Rezzy's <laughs> West Perth. <laughs> It's gone yeah. from two goals to six, six goals to yeah, ten yeah. goals now. Um, so you played for West Perth in yes. the. Waffle, then yep. waffle, not waffle. W waffle. Um, yes. Yep. Um, 
and then you drive. What was your drive? Okay, we'll just skip that because you clearly you're not keen to talk about it. No, you should yeah, you talk about it. No, I love West Perth. Okay. You know our origin. Yeah, the origins. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so played at West West Perth um, with my friend, yeah, Mon, who you both know. That's yep. who I was trying to get some um, source I'll about your from, surf yeah. club days from. Fellow husky um, boys. Yeah, love her. <laughs> husky boys. Um, we played. Yeah, won the grand final. They actually put my name in in the newspaper as kicking the goals, but it was her. <laughs> um, <laughs> But I was like, oh, well, well, we won't get that retracted. We'll leave that. No. Um, so that's probably why I got drafted. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> that was it. Um, but no, got drafted from there. And then I guess West Perth got rid of their women's team. Um, so then we yeah went down to Claremont, um, which I'm very thankful for. Because, yeah, got some amazing friends from there. And, yeah, feel part of that community still. Absolutely. And so talk us through your draft experience. What? Because I actually don't know. What <laughs> you were playing for West Perth yep. at the time. Um, how did it all come about? Because obviously it was Trent then that um, <coughs> drafted yeah. you. So I probably didn't have much of an idea about like AFLW and that, but I think I rang Clint, Clint Degabro. Yep. Is that yep. his last name? Yeah. Yep. And I was just like, what's this um, like league or whatever? Um, and he <laughs> said, you know, you might be like have a chance like if you like keep trying a lot yep. and keep going well. So then I was like, oh, let's do it. Um, and then I think Trent had come down and watched a few games. But yeah, didn't ever really expect to get drafted, but yeah, got drafted from West Perth. I guess that's um, funny too, because obviously you were playing Resi's football <laughs> then, only because there was no yeah, league. Yeah. So we went up West to league. Oh, you were in Yeah, league. we went up to oh, league. Oh, you were in league. We were okay. flogged. Um, yeah. So it was good. I was in the been back there. Line, oh, so been there. She <laughs> saw the ball. <laughs> been there, done so that. That probably helped as well. Laura Pierce um, had 32 every week. <laughs> <laughs> and three goals. Yeah, three. In the <laughs> newspaper. So they knew you could handle um, a lot of a lot of pressure yeah, down back. So hopefully. Were you playing in back line then too? Um, yeah, yeah. Back yep. line. And Very good. Yeah. Um, and then, because you were drafted in 2018 mm-hmm. for the 2019 yep. season. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Were you one of those ones that came in and just won all the time? Oh no, that um, was 2020. So we, yeah, the year after, but we, <laughs> Remember that? I debuted and we beat Melbourne and that yep. was, yeah. Oh, that was fantastic. Yeah, <laughs> that was really great. Um, and like Turbo debuted and yeah, lots of like, um, like Ange and Paris, like people have been like friends with or had yep. that journey with. Um, and then, yeah, we kind of won some, lost some. I was in and out of the team and then 2020, we yeah. got going. Mim and yeah, I did. Started yeah. Although so 2019, actually, we did make a prelim Mim. final. Yeah. So we, yeah. you can... We, okay. we almost we'll, got there. The, the momentum was going up. To be yeah. honest, we probably <laughs> we probably should have won that prelim final <laughs> too. It was against Carlton, um, <laughs> and that was where we had pools. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. Um, so we probably should have beaten Carlton then. Yeah. Uh, but they got absolutely flogged in the grand in final by point. Adelaide. So yeah. I'm kind of glad that wasn't us. Um, but I always like to look at Wiki. Uh, for we love wiki. what Wiki says, your dad um, Trev's probably no, but you're listed as you're listed as a utility on Wiki, which is. Fantastic because, well, you do go forward occasionally. Yes. Yeah. And my most fond memory of you uh, no, get as a forward no. was you, your first, opp- <laughs> the first opportunity you had to kick a goal. <laughs> yeah. And you and Drisco have this in common, <laughs> backliners coming down to kick goals. I don't know, maybe t- 15 metres no, out, please, 10 yeah. metres out. Straight in front. Straight in front. <laughs> yeah. Talk us through that moment. Well, I think Gabby, well, I know, not I think, um, Gabby and I, <laughs> tackled someone and got them holding the ball and I don't know why she passed it to me. I remember her looking me in the eyes directly and just being like, here. And I was like, why would you make me take it? <laughs> um, anyway, I think it was blowing like 140 knots out of <laughs> Noble. There was no, first time there was no crowd with COVID, yeah, I think. Yeah, yep. um, right. yeah. Yeah, so sprayed it. So that was good. Um, right. But got a point. You got a point, yeah. but then... Point. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> not, long, not long later, down the other end of the ground, you kicked a goal from the boundary it was an yeah. epic goal and oh, i was really? like how do you go from missing straight in front the easiest shot you could possibly have to kicking one from the boundary yeah i've got no, no idea, pressure you said. don't think about it set shots are hard yeah. but we don't do them often i know it should just be like kicking out though shouldn't yeah. it i don't know yeah i don't think about <laughs> <it> either <sometimes. laughs> I, i've got an excuse <laughs> should just be kicking kicking to Can anyone I really it through? <laughs> Is that three that points? Touched down. Yeah. Touched I'll run it through. <laughs> um, you are on track for 50 games this season. Apparently, you've been mm. telling everyone it's round 10, but it's round 8. Yeah, you told me. No. I, no. You well, told did me to trust Drisco? Okay. 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 I'm sorry. That, okay. That was the, that's round my first eight, mistake. Kilda. Must have been your mum and dad that said round 10 versus Sydney. Oh, yeah. And they were saying they were going to stay the oh, night yeah. for that. I wouldn't trust them <laughs> I don't trust me or Trevor and Luce. So no. I was like, well, that was my first mistake. I trusted yeah, yeah. Uh, Drisco. Anyway, round round eight. Um, mm. Very exciting. Oh, yeah. Well, it's just, 
Does it feel like you've been here that long? No, not at all, um, which is weird. I, yeah, I guess even after playing like your first game, you're like, oh, will you ever get another one? But um, yeah, it's been nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, enjoyed every single one. But yeah, we'll just see how it goes. Not too f- not too fussed about it. No. Oh, well. But you should be. It's a huge effort. We've got a few more rounds. We've got some rounds yeah. to get through to get to that, but... We'll, no. make it, we'll make a you big might deal. Two eggs that game. <laughs> <laughs> Double yoga. <laughs> Imagine that. All right, going on to oh, shit, your parents. Sorry. They own or live. Are they, do they own or live on a farm or both? Yeah, they live, um, on a farm. Yeah. live own. That's um, my point. I added that in. Yeah, <laughs> a farm in Jinjin with you. cows. This is what this is what I got given cows <laughs> by Drisco. How's the parents own slash live on a farm in Jinjin <laughs> with cows. Did you voice note it yet? I brought her cow. dad a Kelpie pup. Oh, yes, yeah. No, they, all of those statements are true. Yes, yeah, they are, they are. It's not, yeah. This is not a true or false. <laughs> like, I know they're true. Is this quick fire? I've been there. Yes. <laughs> Would you like to elaborate at all? Because it um, feels like quick fire this whole podcast at the moment. Parents. Parents. Yeah. <laughs> parents. Yeah. Yeah, they live, um, they moved Tell out me to about your childhood. Yeah, and your parents. <laughs> 1st of November 1993, Scorpio. <laughs> um, no, they moved out to Jinjin. It might be like coming up for three years later in the year. Um, yeah, so go up there on the weekends, feed the cows. Um, yes, one of them is called Joy. She's the best. Um, <laughs> but yeah, most of them have names, or if not, we just call them their tag number name. Oh, um, it's, ter- so <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible. So if you have any names, we anyway, can call some, okay. yeah, cows. But it's great. Good little getaway. We yeah, love Trevor Lou. Yeah, no, they're, they're thriving up there. But and you grew up in Perth, is that right? Yes, yeah. yeah. A Belden BB. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely Belden. Yeah, Ocean Reef. Ocean Reef gal. Yeah, nice. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, just wanted to touch on the Kelpie pup. Um, oh, sorry, just yeah, sorry you didn't happened. buy it for them. You. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I brought, I brought them again. I brought it with me. Brought or bought? <laughs> In my present. Oh, sorry. It does there is an R? It's there brought. is an R. It's brought. Another <laughs> statement that's true. I didn't physically pay for this <gasps> dog. She brought. <laughs> yeah, she, so she brought no, a Kelpie to them. You did organise the Kelpie. It's great, but it's <laughs> driven them mad. <laughs> I, well, I, I, for six months. I remember no. we, we chatted about this six months ago and then we were in Jinjin and I was like, oh, Trev, I'll get you a dog, like easy. And he, he goes, oh, yep, yeah, I'll take one. And then Laura goes, no, no, but if Drisco says she's going to get you a dog, she's going to get you a dog. Like, you, you have a dog tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> that task will be completed. So yeah. Do you want do you, a dog? Are you sure you yeah, want yeah, a dog? Yeah, yeah. And she'll get I've you a dog. Them, um, he, he's um, a menace and <laughs> Trev's definitely gained a few grey hairs. <laughs> No, but they're but, great. Well, they yeah. come down after four years. Yeah. <laughs> a few years, mum and dad will be able to get out the house. So, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> oh, dear. So it's like having a Drisco living yeah, here. It's, <laughs> it's like your poor parents. It's pros and cons. <laughs> <laughs> now, you did have a, a basketball background. We go on about, a bit, about oh, it with me. Yeah. quite a bit. Tell basketball us about hands. your basketball. Uh, basketball. <laughs> when I used to slam dunk it all the time. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I played. Oh, it's like a while ago now. But, yeah, incredible. Played. Um, well, the career wasn't incredible, but um, played <laughs> well. up at Wanneroo Wolves. And, yeah, the women um, that I got to play with then, yeah, just exceptional, like, um, leaders and everything. I feel like I like, learnt a lot off them. Um, and I think with that um, league, like, the men's and women's competitions are, like, really close. Like, in SBL, it's, like, NBL1 now. Um, so, yeah, it was great to grow up there and play that sport. We had, yeah, we had a lot of fun, lots of good memories. You played for WA as well, yeah. didn't you? Yeah, I've seen your collage. So what, yeah, your dad, collage. Did your dad make that? that. <laughs> yeah, can we? We're going to get a photo collage. of that. The collage of uh, of no, I feel sick Huey's <laughs> WA basketball this. career is fantastic. What is the gold? It was very yeah, gold. No, very was, yellow. Um, those shorts. There's something else. Um, but also, I guess tell us your journey. Then, when did you start basketball? And then, I guess, how did that get you to? Is it SBL? Yeah. 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 So. I'm not sure when I started, I guess in like primary school or something, but yeah, dad had played basketball um, professionally, so I guess he wanted to steer me oh, that way. Hang on, um, I didn't know yeah. that. Wildcats. Did he? Yeah, he was a cat. Yeah. Where's this been? Box seats at so the Wildcats. This wasn't in the first podcast, so there you yet. go. So we just got to sort of probing you for questions yeah, you and find out You should get him on here, things. he'd love that. No. <laughs> um, we'll go, we'd we'd love that. Call. Yeah, we'll go, <laughs> <laughs> should I call him now? Yeah, for three call. hours. <laughs> um, but no, yeah, and then I guess, yeah, played at Wanneroo the whole time. Um, and then you kind of just go up your age group and then you do like the nationals and stuff, um, which yeah, was amazing. Got to do the tournaments, which was so much fun, especially when you're younger. Like it's yeah, yeah. just amazing. Mm. And um, yeah, warmed the bench quite a bit, but yeah, loved it. It was great. Um, <laughs> you can imagine you would have been the hype, bit of a hype girl. Yeah, yeah. no, it was good. 
It was very good. It's a very, yeah, play your role sport, which um, no, it was amazing. We're all what about your playing your role. Um, was a guard, so I was, yeah, I'm like a small in basketball, yeah. but tall in footy. Same yeah. with netball as well. Like, yeah, you just it's so Bizarre. random. They're, these yeah. girls are just built differently. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they're all minimum height eight six foot. foot. Yeah, <laughs> eight foot. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Okay. That's, well, wait till so. Yeah, I feel like that will change at some point when they come. Like when footy becomes mm. pe- like girls' first sports, yeah, you are sure. get these tall girls. Across. It'll start to. But I feel like it's because everyone's like, oh, like. If you're six foot, you go and play like basketball mm, or netball at like a national yeah. level, probably because yeah. you've had that pathway to do it. But whereas yeah. footy was for a lot of us, it's like, oh, couldn't do that. Yeah, so yeah. we'll do this. Yeah, yeah, um, as bad as that sounds, for now, like for a few of us, it's probably like how it was. Mm. Um, but then down the track, apart from you, Mim, you're tall. Um, Mim, yeah, you, why are you here? Yeah, but I used to play small netball. No, you sure. actually yeah, no. I was when, she was, yeah, I used you to were be small, so weren't small. you? Yeah, yeah, we've been what through. Position? So was Anya. Anya was tiny too. <laughs> Is there Every positions position? in squash? <laughs> Mim, <laughs> small. And so was yeah. Anya. Apparently, Anya was tiny. No, I don't yeah. believe it. All the tallest ones are late. Late bloomers. Late. <laughs> okay. late. Am I every tall person? Yeah, I'm, <laughs> still, <laughs> I'm still waiting. I'm wait, still waiting. Yeah. To well, bloom. the tall girls in my class, I'm much taller than now. Would you do mm. like? Would you um, shoot or defend? I I shoot now, but I used to be centre court. I reckon I can still Indy, do it. What is Indy shoot? Yeah, you give it a bit definitely. of a run. Indy's a shooter. Yeah. 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 Indy's Indy tall needs to play footy. So I was an early bloomer. I reckon in year seven I was this height. No, and exactly. I I'm not even joking. I remember I was like 170. Yeah, see, oh, that year was all the girls seven. in my year. I was in. And I was at the t- back of like the tallest in the oh, whole entire what? class. Come the boys. Yeah, and Stop. I was like, there was one boy that was taller than me, and yeah, then no. like just stopped growing. That's okay. I was a little I was boy. Like, until here we go. My sports career is going to take yeah. off, and this this is me. But anyway, just yeah. filled out a bit. That always happens to girls though. They do develop earlier. Except for me, yeah. Except there. for Mim. Except for Mim. <laughs> Except for We've the tall one. The whole so, story. Yes. Okay, Hang on. Sorry. So if you're going out, to be tall, you oh. develop late. <laughs> if you're going to be an average height or Mim's short, the minority. I'm the minority. When did you grow? Should we go? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I didn't. Yeah. I don't okay. know. I didn't monitor it. <laughs> Compare it to that one footprint that my parents got when I was two years old. That was meant to tell you I was going to be six foot two and ended up here. So anyway. thanks, mum and dad. That meant nothing. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. All right. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, oh, you're good. working. Tell us about your work. So you work oh. as an OT. <laughs> Sorry, I put this in. But no, yeah, yeah. I put this in, but I know you get emotional, so I'm not going to oh, look no, at no, you. Oh, no, no, I won't get emotional. Tell us about it. Um, tell us about yeah, your work. Yeah. So I work as an OT, yeah, in aged care. Um, occupational therapist. I, yeah, sorry, mm. occupational therapist. Um, and, yeah, currently, yeah, working in more, I guess, like a dementia-specific um, facility and been there for like six months. But, um, yeah, I love it. And yeah, I do get emotional when I talk about it, but um, it's really special. And yeah, I guess the residents that I get to work with and also the staff are just, yeah, amazing. Do oh. you have any funny stories ab- at work? <laughs> what about obviously? the lady that runs down the, um, or the guy that runs down the stairs? The ra- oh yeah, there's a very fit man um, who runs down the ramps and does the heel flick, yeah. which is a bit scary for me and the physio because we do all like the false prevention <laughs> stuff. But he, we have ramps throughout our whole facility. Um, yeah, and he's very quick. So that's. <laughs> just I can imagine you running to, after. Yeah, I'll be running after. Slow down. I do the same thing. Slow down. Yeah. You are flick. Although, <laughs> from so a good. physio perspective, fantastic if you're still doing oh, yeah, that. True. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. We'll, we'll maintain it's that. It's like hard because you don't want to stop them. You yeah. don't want to stop anyone from doing like oh, their potential, but, but you also don't want them to fall over. Yeah, so definitely. It's a, and so much joy with You'd the heel flick. It's a tough one. Four times assist. Yeah. Hey Em, isn't WA the best place to call home? Couldn't agree with you more. And our friends at Bankwest want to help you make the most of it. That's why we've got some of the best seats in the house to our games this season. And when you're not cheering us on, you could be in the best seats at the other epic events at Optus Stadium and RAC Arena. So let's hear it for our home team, our home ground and our home crowd. And let's hear it for the best seats in the house. Search Bankwest Best Seats for your chance to win. All right, so we've got our next section is uh, Drisco's section. Now, this is where I'm going to (laughs) express my frustration with Drisco. So yesterday I was so irrationally mad at you. (laughs) So irrationally mad at you. And I didn't even tell you, but Drisco comes in today, gives me a hug and she goes, I'm so sorry. Yeah, at least For not helping you. I'm so sorry for not helping you. I've got to write a formal apology to the whole of the Miller family. (laughs) Yeah, they probably done something wrong to Ben too. Yeah, just write something down. So yesterday... Um, so I have to write the script on the Monday if we're doing the podcast on Tuesday. It has to be in by Monday night so they can print Ooh. it off and everything. I didn't really anyway, know that. Anyway, 
Drisco, it's been like three Drisco years. Drisco goes, cool, like, sends me a couple of points. Half of the points are, ask about her work. I'm like, cool. <laughs> I'm going to, uh, I'm going to anywhere. Anyway. Um, you say that I have false allegations. Look at this. That's not a false allegation because that was one of the points. Yeah. Anyway. She's got this whole section, dish with Driz. And then I asked her afterwards, I said, do you want to just put the points in you said before? Because there was about two of them that you could actually use for this section. Mm-hmm. And she goes, um, yeah, probably the points above. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> I did say that. Okay. But I did say. And I was like this seething. Is it, <laughs> seething yeah. with my hey, hand. I was like, the, this like, one, two, three, beep four. has a section <laughs> for herself and can't even be bothered to come up with the points that she's going to talk about. Okay. Okay. And then. On the defence here, okay, yes, I acknowledge that I have a section that I need to probably write, but if I just had it on my phone, it's fine. But also, I I really do appreciate Miller doing the script because when I do it, it's in absolute shambles and she yells at me anyway because it's not the way that she needed it. Um, but in saying that, I did write down some points about my good friend, Laura. Yes, um, fantastic. And I knew that you weren't going to be happy with the points being in that segment, so then you put them where you needed them to be. Yeah, but then it left like one point for your, it's true. A, your segment. It's true. <laughs> Okay, well, it's true. So anyway, you're trying to like defend Are we doing yourself. Doing the dishes, and it's not or right. is it okay. the dish? Anyway, <laughs> what's happening? Anyways, happened? I just anyway, wanted to get up that I did write um, that much down. That's a text D- to your mum. <laughs> and you know what? Next time I pre, like and I said, then I, I sent appreciate. To the, I sent to her later on. I wrote the points, and then I wrote the, sent them to her, and I go, "There's your section. You're welcome." She was mad, and she put a full stop after it. I was like, "Oh." <laughs> and then she texts me this morning and goes, "Hey, if you need any help with the script, just let me know." And I was like, "Already had to send it in yesterday." <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Now anyway, I know. So it has I was irrationally mad about it, but we're we're past it now. We, we have a good working week. relationship. We do. We do. It's we can healthy. move past these things. We can have these conversations. It's all yours. Ask the questions that Anyways. I came up with. Ooh. Oh, I came up with two. <laughs> You're going to ask me about my work? <laughs> oh, I thought that was a good point. Your work's great. No, I love it. Okay, sorry. All right, dish with Driz. For this week, we've got my good friend Laura Pugh, LP3 votes, the golden goose, the golden fist. Here we are. Um, first question of the day. We have made songs for everyone's name at the club here. You were the driving force in this. It's called Goals for Girls. Mm. And every single player has a song that is related to their name. Um, yep. We did go to Someday Coffee and sang these songs out yep. loud to make sure they sounded okay. Um, sorry, about, so sorry to the waitresses there. Yeah. Yep. Please explain. <laughs> tell us your faves. I've written a few down. Oh, please explain. Um, who? Oh, I guess we started with Anya maybe. Yeah. When Freed from Desire. So Anya's on fire. Your defence is terrified. But it's an old um, English soccer chant, I guess. So I think we just got the ball rolling from there. And it started, I guess, with yourself and Ange were kind of going through heaps of these soccer chants on the back of the Tillies. Yes. Um, yep. Ange's obviously a huge soccer fan, but you guys mm-hmm. have just got the... Some of them are quite crude. Yeah, some of them I are I feel terrible. like this is a good opportunity to tell the fans about the Anya's on fire one and then get and them then to sing it one. at yes. the oh, game. Yes, yeah. some really yeah. good yeah. So can you sing it? Please. Can you put a backing track on if <laughs> I sing it? Yep. Are we all going to sing so, it? Yep. Yeah. Okay, ready. Hang on, how's it go? We're going to count us in. Okay, you count us in. Five. Five. Four. Five. <laughs> <laughs> All right, girls, 99, 98, 97. Come on, you need those few extra seconds to get ready. One, two, three, four. On years on fire. fire. Your, Your defence is terrified. On years on fire. fire. Your defence is terrified. Okay, cut. And then it goes da 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 Da, 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 da. Yeah, so all the fans, <laughs> if you learn that, to the backing track of Freed from Desire. I've got no rhythm. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a croaky throat to count. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> oh, no. Anyway, Anya loves the spotlight, so she loves yeah, that. She loves she? it. Yeah, she's um, frothing it every I guess time that's talk a, about that's it. an easy one we can sing. Um, mm. What else could we get going at Fremantle Oval? Um, I really like, this is also, I guess, copyrighted, the um, big Ange one. So Ange Postacoglu, yep. hard name. Yep, I think that's right. He's Aussie coach now, coaching Tottenham. Um, and they've made up a song for him, but it's for Big Angels. No, Big Angels. <laughs> Angels by Robbie Williams, um, so and I think Angela. Does that, everyone yeah. know it? I don't oh. think I know this one. I'm loving yeah. Big Ange instead. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, what's so the rest of it? That, the whole uh, the normal in. song, oh. I think. Yeah. Is that they changed it because they had to put old coaches yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we can just add that line in. Mm. But it's a oh. good one. You know, get the vocals really going. Mm. That one. I feel like I need to 
hear the whole thing, not yeah. right now. <laughs> I was yeah. like, okay. can, can, can you do a countdown, countdown from 99 <laughs> and sing the whole song? <laughs> okay, just to get to the point, we're loving Big Girl instead. Yeah. Everyone in this room has one. So Hayley Millers is, <laughs> I get confused, between hers and Hayley's. Do you want to sing Hayley's? She's doing well, it. sometimes. <laughs> it's okay. Valerie. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, it's relevant for you. I no. down from 99. <laughs> Hayley, <laughs> why don't you come on over, <laughs> Hayley? <laughs> And then, yeah, we can't I sing, guess, hey. Ellie's and Ellie's are actually quite similar. So we've got yeah. Jolene and we've got Valerie. <laughs> yeah. Great, like, bangers. Absolutely. So, Ellie's yeah. is just Ellie. Ellie. Yeah. Ellie. Yeah. Ellie. Yeah. Great. And um, well. Mims is a classic. <laughs> yeah, we don't know whether to change yours. No, go. People love it. it. I don't mind it. Um, it's just that it's her number. Can we just put the track in? I'm just going to mime it. 21. Can you do okay, something? Okay, put that on the video. That's elite. That's elite. <laughs> that's elite. Sing it. 21. Great. Okay. okay. Yeah, um, you can guess it. <laughs> and then we've got yours is um, Laura Pugh's favourite song, bit of Beyonce. Mm. Baby, yeah. it's Pugh. Baby, it's Pugh. That's right. <laughs> You're the one I want. <laughs> You're the one I love. Is it me? <laughs> is it Grace? <laughs> You're the only You're one the I one see. You are the one I want. <laughs> We've changed tunes. We could use that though. Um, yeah, if anyone needs to change. Great. And um, one of my personal faves actually. Harder, better, faster, dozer. Yeah, dozer. <laughs> yeah. Dozers goes off. Oh, dozer for the fans is Sarah Wilstra. Yeah. Um, Hers is great. Okay, oh, phenomenal. Brilliant. So that, that was a very long question. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to <laughs> It wasn't even a question. <laughs> it was a statement. <laughs> we just go through countdown. everyone's. <laughs> <laughs> Be here all day. Yeah. Here's the countdown. Okay. Um, you are also known for posting some great Frio AFLW inspired Valentine's Day cards. Can you Ooh. give us some of the faves from over the years? Oh, I tried to find them me. and I couldn't find any because mm. I think you do them on stories. Yeah, so. I think I do, mm. don't I? You can um, figure some. If Hallmark, is it Hallmark that's a card company? Yeah, we'd love to get picked up by them <laughs> for next Feb. Um, if they're listening, um, <laughs> four fifty a card. Um, but no, what have some good ones be? I like Phil because Phil's name is like Phil. Yep. So we've yeah done that quite a bit. Like, um, what have we done? You have them there. I feel I don't know something. <laughs> I like the I roses are red. Oh yeah, um, roses are red. No, I can't think of any. They're all gone. Oh well, this is terrible. <laughs> no, I tried to find some. To I help remember you out mine. And I mine oh, yeah. was oh, I'm Mim. Mim- I'm Mim Love With yeah, You. Yeah, that's a good one. Like yeah, I think you sent nice. mine to yeah. me on Messenger. Oh, so I think it's sad because I've never had one. Um, <gasps> yes, so I've done you one. I don't what think do you ever have. Because I always wait <gasps> for one. Nah, to I'm going to find Something it. Something with Violets and Miller. Yeah, and Roses are Red, Violets and Miller. Something about... <laughs> feeling her. <laughs> 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 what rhymes with Miller? So see, this is the problem. You've clearly got to this hurdle every this time. Valentine and will be a thriller. Anyway. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's a bit oh. scary. <laughs> <laughs> now, what about Hayley? It turns into a horror. Things are on with Hayley. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to find Hayley? <laughs> Just like another girl's name. <laughs> more, more I'm names. glad I'm not with Hayley. <laughs> <laughs> I think you've got uh, one here. Anyway, no, so I'll find yours. Yeah, okay. Well, I've got how many months? months? Yeah, you got a few months. Well, can you yeah, just I've been waiting. I've been waiting a few years. Um, do you have any screenshots of them anywhere? Yeah, I definitely like, do. It's just going to take a while. Yeah. We'll just move on. It's fine. It's oh, okay. that's annoying for us. <laughs> um, okay. It's feedback. Strong feedback. My that's going to come up. In you could have prep, prepped me. In yeah. your review next no. week, uh, that's going to come up. Yeah, damn. Um, this is one of my faves from the weekend. Um, is the double spoil to yourself the new power move? <laughs> <laughs> Get the vision oh. up, Brett. I love um, that. Yeah, I was like, I may as well test the old golden fist. But no, I think I had to do it. I think there was like three eagles yeah. on my back. And this, I was actually laughing out loud if the camera was on the other side. Um, I think I screamed out loud as well because I was like, if I take possession of this, You're I'm like, I'm gone. Yeah, 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 I was like, fun. stacks on. Um, so yeah, hopefully I don't have to do it again. One's enough. Well, you no, looked no. super fast. It was actually elite. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I hope that's in the vision today. Like, back 50, near, close to the boundary. Pew's just come out of nowhere, golden fist in the air, one fist, couldn't get there, another fist, fist. and then, gets there, then continues to run, kick. Grab, yeah. grabs it, and then like, lace it out. laces someone lace out. out. It was actually unbelievable. I was sitting on the bench going, that is ridiculous, and I was <laughs> cackling. <laughs> I went, yeah, I was laughing. It was great. No, you kicked it, it lace fun. out to, um, to 
Epps. Yes, and I had run. Great. I was like, oh, sweet, we're going to switch here. Yeah, and then yeah. Epps turns around and goes, settle down. Yeah. And I had run <laughs> so far. Do you know I said to Bella Lewis, that? my opponent, because yeah, she had yeah. to, obviously had to come with me, but she was miles behind, so I was going to get it. Yeah. Anyway, Epps was like, settle down, settle down. Oh, Didn't get, and then I was at the boundary line. And I was like, and I said, turn to Bella Lewis, and I was like, man, don't you hate it when you run that hard and I'm, you don't and get it? And she was like, yeah, mate. No reward Welcome for effort. To the role of she, the was like, yeah. Sorry. she was like, she was like, no reward for effort. I was like, yeah. Anyway, and then we continued on. No, thank goodness we off we went. Thank goodness, but welcome to the back line. Mm. When you mids don't swivel the head. <laughs> it's personal. Kidding. No, kidding. Wow. Shot me shot. All right. Yeah, just shot me shot. And now I'm moving on. Is it still the dish? Um, are you going to start a team called the West Pew Pandas? <laughs> I didn't want this to go out in public. Question. Um, <laughs> well, you've been talking yeah. about it for years. Only the past six years. Yeah, I think there should be, you know, they did come out a bit about there being a third team in WA. Okay. I wasn't thinking about a men's team, but it could happen, I guess. Um, Westview Pandas. But yeah, Westview Pandas, located on Rottnest Island, I was thinking, because yeah, they okay. have an oval there. It'd be quite nice. Mm. Um, it could be nice. Yeah. Could be nice and then size. all the, yeah, only home games, everyone can come over. Yeah, no, you nice. need more than two ferries. <laughs> yeah, well, for the teams. <laughs> No, you More swim than one first. Gate open too. No, okay. <laughs> There's no gates. <laughs> Everyone fun. Everyone just yeah. If you get on the, the island, you're in. Um, but open. no, can you use some of your eyeshadow that you use on there for the Westview Pandas? It's yeah, going to be great. a theme. Perfect. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for bringing that up again. Alrighty, last question from me. Um, I guess it's iconic to you, the recorder. Um, oh. It's you know you. They say she can only double spell. She can't. She's actually a musical talent as well. Has had a recorder in her bag for the since she was drafted here. Mm-hmm. Um, we did start game day with the lay days as well. Um, absolute classic. Mm-hmm. If you haven't seen it, go have a look. Um, and I we thought today we'd get the recorder back out like the previous podcast for you to play us a song because you have gotten better. I think. I've not got it out since then. <laughs> Yeah, you have. have yes, you have. You get it out quite often. She does. Yeah, Let's yeah. be real. So get oh, the yeah. recorder out. Don't tell us what you're playing. Haley and I are going to close our eyes. And Mim. Mim's close part her. of it. Why, is, why oh. are we closing our eyes? Oh, I just can't look at her. Yeah, why I'm, you're not going to be able to see what notes. Is I don't it, why, know we, what notes. why are we closing our eyes? Is, it, is um, that going to help us? <laughs> oh, I don't know. My, I know my notes in, on the recorder, yeah, like done. back of my hand. What so here's, here's something Pugh, I prepared here's earlier. the recorder. I actually should have learnt something in the past four years. Been a bit busy, you know. No. Working. Too busy. Um, (laughs) Okay. Wait, are you closing your eyes? No. (laughs) I am, because I'll How do you warm up? Hang on, I've got to think of the tune. Oh, you know. And then if you know it, you've got to sing it. Okay. 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 All right. Um, Do you use both hands? I'm not sure. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. You're the musical talent. Onions She's on, on fire. fire. <laughs> Your defense is terrifying. Next. Next. <laughs> Next. Next. <laughs> is this the voice? I'm not turning that around. That was an easy one. Um, okay. That was an easy one. I don't know how to do this one. No, I don't know how to do any of them. Yeah. <laughs> that sounded great. Okay. You're still using the Just two fingers. I like that. Yeah. The two fingers. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what do don't I do, do with this? She blocks the bottom hole. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. All the list. All the listeners. Um. Hang on, how do you do this one? Oh, I might start slow though. No, do it. <laughs> that sounds like a Think pigeon. Out. It, it sounds like bird. a pigeon. Yeah. Think about our favourite song. Ooh. Nah. Oh. The backs are the. Oh, the Oh, bottom, 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 bottom. I'm just nervous. I'm like, do you do it? Anyway. <laughs> I think it's actually didn't. quite hard. I didn't get that. Oh. No. I thought you were going to come out with hot cross buns. Oh. I said, yeah. Do that. Yeah, That's no. your best one, I think. <laughs> I don't even know how to do that. Okay. Hot cross buns is the best oh. one. Oh. I'm actually. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Easter time, though. This is yeah. an Easter anthem. <laughs> 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 I actually didn't pass music in primary school. Hence oh, classic. Is that from sport. primary school? Have you, have, you had to only, have you only ever had one recorder? I think so. Yeah. Do you ever buy a second one? <laughs> I don't, I don't have expect. my first. I don't know where my first one is. Yeah, literally. I'm surprised yeah, you still have it. How good's a recorder sure. though? What, who came up with that? Like oh. for small children to just I know pierce why. everyone's ears yeah, with no. that. My kids aren't having anything musical. I was going to hand that down to you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Great. I'll never play it. I'll frame it. <laughs> can you sign the side? <laughs> we get framed here. Like Nat Fife's. Um, You'll get the kids on the weekend. Crutch. Laura Pugh, can we have your recorder? <laughs> Can they you'll take it? <laughs> can we get no, Then you'll have a recorder selling business. you yes. on the business on the side. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's signed great. By, <laughs> recorder signed by Laura Pugh. Anyways, thanks, Loza Cutie32. <laughs> <laughs> that's her first hotmail address, everyone.
I want to bring uh want to bring Mim back in. So oh, Mim, yeah. we changed your thing from oh, um, Mim's mailbag to from the fans, just in case you're here or not. Oh, um, but anyway, it's called from the fans now. Um, you can take it away. Yeah, I got some questions for you, Pewy. Um, oh, <laughs> Kyla hard. Pritchard said, uh, "This one's more for Haley and M. Oh, Fake. Oh, so it's not for you. <laughs> <laughs> Fake tan tips and recommendations, please. You were both absolutely popping on Sunday." Thanks so much, Carla. You know how to just warm my heart because it's a tough. Why didn't we get asked? <laughs> it's a tough. Yeah. It's a um. <laughs> the natural tan was looking too hot. <laughs> Antarctic tan. <laughs> Miller, what are you? Do you you're the tips? avid tanner here. I am the avid tanner because when I don't tan, it's all I hear about. So, and I've seen some photos from season one, wearing white when I didn't have a tan on, white. and it's like. It's like, where does my skin start and <laughs> the jumper end, you know? Um, but I am, what tan do you use? Well, um, natural when I can. Uh, it has been quite oh, cold, don't, though. Don't try and like pretend um, like you No, I actually get a spray tan. Like I oh, you get a proper one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm a, but not, I'm not, like a, a, not that I'd organise before a home game to get a no. spray tan, but no. if I've had a, I usually go and get a proper tan. Yeah. Um, no, I hate proper tans. Anyway, so I'm a, uh, from the bottle, Tan, uh, Lis- Latan, Latan, yep. Uber Stay is the one that yep. I use. I've been through a few. Bondi Sands obviously was the the number mm. one for a long while, and then moved off that. Um, but now I've just got so good at that. It's it's not. But yeah. did you know what the thing with fake tan that I have learnt? It doesn't matter if you leave it on for half an hour or three hours, you get the same bloody thing. And if you pay for the one that says thirty minute express tan versus the one that's three hours yeah, normal yeah, tan. Not. The same. Yeah, so if it's the I same. my house but makes it costs my, more. If I am using a bottled tan, I'm using Bondi Sands, the Aero Hour Express, and I literally Aero, I'm naturally how the foam. Foam. The foam. That's it's that's great. number one tip. I Get agree. a foam. I had yep. the like just liquid for ages, no, no, and foam. it's so streaky, horrible. Yeah. Foam, best way to but go. See, like, I'm, I, I guess I'm I'm naturally quite dark, so I I would only leave it on for like an hour or two max. Yep. Whereas my housemate will still sleep oh, in the. I hate doing that. Can't in the hour express, horrible. I'm going. It's sticky, horrible. Yeah, it's yeah, and it still develops after you wash it off. But um, if it you're does. doing it aero, and window. make sure that you moisturise your elbows, yep. knees, ankles, nice. and hands. Um, that's hot tip because then you don't get really dark um, knees and elbows and stuff. Because that's a dead giveaway. Yeah. For having if a fake tan, if you have really dark elbows and knees. Do you go um medium or dark? Uh, dark. And you're fine with that because yeah. you are. Well, then I don't have to leave it on. Naturally, yeah, don't have to leave it on as long. So Wait, we need a thing? separate right. podcast for your tan. Sorry. Anyway, <laughs> so that was a lot of fake tan tips. But anyway, we've got, now you've we've got, got a lot of questions. Just start out. Anyway, no more for Em and continue Tom. Haley. Okay, Jasmine Stewart, Jazzy, oh asks which pass player do you miss the most? Oh, who's that? Who asked the question? Jasmine Stewart. Oh, I'm not sure who that is. No, Tildy Sargent. Yeah, probably Tildy, her best mate. Nah. <laughs> um, no, of course I miss Jazzy. Um, yeah, she's probably up there in the top two. <laughs> uh, there's quite a few that have left. No, nah, there's lots. There's so yeah, many. Yeah. yeah. Bianca Love them all. Miller asks, how old were you when you started playing footy? Um, I think I was like 21 or 22. Nice. Yeah. Um, Jazz Dancer asks, if you were to go to the Olympics, what would it be for? Oh. What would I do at the Olympics? You've got a strong wrist now. You could. Yeah. <laughs> I, could I did shot put at athletics, under oh, eights. So I think I got a medal. Okay. Um, should, have pers- should have pursued that with my <laughs> upper body strength. Um, no, probably, oh, surfing. Surfing's oh, in there yeah, now. Yeah. 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 But basketball as well. We forgot did to we even ask about that. that the um, surfing. PSS, Laura is a surfer. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Tries to be, doesn't yeah. matter. Doesn't matter. Stung uh, or bitten by a cobbler, whatever the, you, I don't know if you get stung or bitten. Stung, well, yeah. if you step stung. on them. That's yeah. something you should have asked about. Tell oh, us about yeah. the pain when you got stung by a cobbler. <laughs> uh, 12 out of 10. Yep. Oh. Yep. <laughs> I've heard it's bad. You no, had like, it, did, yeah. you didn't shuffle through the seaweed. That's um, what they teach Jumped off my surfboard, <gasps> straight onto oh. it. No, yeah. you need to tell them about the ice bucket. Um, what about the ice bucket? Like you just couldn't have your foot out. Oh yeah, you got to put it in warm water. Yeah, warm, not sorry. ice. Yeah, <laughs> don't do ice. <laughs> Listeners at home, please use warm water. That's the only thing that works. <laughs> Otherwise, you feel like you're gonna spew. Yeah. Um, um, but yeah, sorry, sorry, Mim. <laughs> sorry, Mim. <laughs> Amy Mulholland asks, oh, yeah. "Who is your locker buddy?" Oh, now I've got it. It's not her. <laughs> it's M. What? Is it? Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is a know? trick question. Because Muller's used to think it was me, but she didn't have one. <laughs> but I'm with M, and then it's Muller's, and uh, she has Ari now, which is nice. Oh, so yeah. she oh, completed oh, the. So she didn't have yeah, yeah. Trick question. Yeah. But no, Muller's used trick to always question. be like, you know, when we do locker buddy yeah, things, she'd be not. looking for me. I was like, I'm not yours. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, she you're on your own. <laughs> you're on your own. <laughs> yeah, it's the, this yeah. the one directly above yes, or below yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. The new girls come in, they think it's like the sponsor. Yeah, the sides, not the sides. It's above or below. Yeah. She's my locker buddy best friend or something. I don't know. Uh, Ben Miller, Hayley Miller's brother, asks, do your shoulders hurt, Pewey, from carrying the team on Sunday? (laughs) I was hoping from a question from your mum. Um, (laughs) They don't hurt from that, but um, they hurt from the knee in the back. Car crash. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Last one, Hugh McGrain asks, who is your favourite Irish girl? Oh... Gabby O'Sullivan. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> not. No, they're all elite. Love them. I'll say they're class. Is that, yeah. Class. They're class. Grand. Grand. Yeah. Grand. Grand. Yeah. No, I love them all. Grand. I don't say grand. Grand is like a very that. Australian grand. Grand. Grande. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I anyway, we've got round two. Uh, <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> round two this weekend against Collingwood. First away trip back to Vic Park. Very excited about that. Are we expecting... It was very fun the last time we Frank went there. It. So we obviously played really well. I think we got about 600 holding the balls mm, for the other team. Um, <laughs> will we see another post-game concert by the two of you? Because that was my favourite part. Yeah, we'll take it quarter by quarter. We've levelled yeah. up really recently. <laughs> we had Maddie Scullin's drone out at Freo Oval yeah, that on was a lot. Saturday. Yeah. So I think um, you can expect big things this year, but... Uh, Depends. I, I don't. We don't want to be outcome based, but it definitely depends on the outcome. Mm. You know. Yeah. We want to have another dub. Yeah. This definitely. is true. But the recorder comes with us everywhere, so <laughs> yeah. You know. So it's <laughs> more, pre- got more travel points we'll than be, me. We'll be prepared. <laughs> yeah. uh, whatever. Whatever the outcome. Can't wait. We love Vic Park. We have played Collingwood in a preseason scratchy. We're ready to go. Um, come off a round one win, and I reckon it's going to be really interesting to see how the game goes this weekend. Mm. Absolutely. Well, that is all we have time for this week on the Rollers and the Rockers podcast brought to you by Bank West. Round two, round two, season two, not season two, round two, episode two. Yes. I don't know why it says round two. That confused me. I didn't write that. Um, Laura, how was your experience? See, I knew. Brett, <laughs> just said to me, Brett, that <laughs> Brett said to me, he said, I've like added a few little things in um, the script. And Why'd I was like, okay, I need to two. read it. So... But is it round two? Are we going round? You didn't write. I didn't write round two on the pod. Start the whole sentence again. Well, I did not write that. Oh, round two. I've got. I did write yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> round two is in your round two on the pod. Yeah, oh, not round let me two. Start that again. That's why no, I, that, I got confused me. with myself oh. thinking okay. round two. I don't. Wouldn't normally say like we're on to round two. Yeah, just, like just say it again. Anyway, wow. Yeah, I'll, sorry, again. Brett. For once. <laughs> For once, I was wrong. I'll admit my mistakes. <laughs> anyway, uh, round two on the pod. Laura, how was your experience? Um, yeah, it was great. Thanks for having me. Was as it any always. better than the first time? Can you remember? Um, no, I can't. But yeah, I actually can't really remember the first one. No, that was neither. a bit of a blur. But no, yeah, probably equally as great. So thanks for having me. <laughs> Don't worry, they'll they'll edit it. It was sound yeah, way, it was way better. Really good. No, nah, it was, was lots of fun. Thank, Thank you. you so much for listening. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a review. As always, I will leave you with Drisco to finish the pod with an inspiring quote. All right. Life may be chewing me up and pooing me out, but I'm built like a piece of corn. See ya. (laughs) 